Yes, Eon is. is yeah, see, no. there's Fox. Or, no. That's Charlie. That's Charlie! Okay! <clears throat> no, I, I, I don't see the bracket. Eon must have lost to Pitbull. Must have? Must have. Wait. Why does that, why does that sound wrong? Uh, look at the bracket later. Because right now is, we get to go ahead yeah, and play this, this game. Loser's Char Charles, the Soul Cal Classic right now. Charlie the King versus K9 S Bruce. Yeah, and that's really the land hero special every single week. <clears throat> Absolutely, almost every single week. Or oh, sometimes even twice a week. Am I right? Yeah. I I, I haven't seen who's actually been coming out on top lately. Both players are always. Oh. I. Uh, game correction, Eon lost to K9 before, um, that, so thank you to that, but we do have K9 still on screen against the other Fox of Lanny, I'll try the King. He took out one Fox, can he take out another Spacey? You know, it wouldn't surprise me, these two really go back and forth, and K9's playing incredible right now. Absolutely, he's playing patient, he's not letting Charlie get in or what, anything that he wants in the neutral right now. Oh, okay, barrels! Freaking barrels! Every time I see that, I always think of things and why I can't trust barrels. I don't never know if they're gonna explode. I never think of the kill. Up here, up here, actually not gonna kill the Sparks. Came out with great DI from Charlie. Uh, tripping. Okay, great up tilt. He's just starting to put on some percent. Charlie's starting to fire back, but it's, it's not quite enough. Can I still got his composure? Oh, and he that was a grab. That was a great call out on that roll too. He just ran straight through it. Got, got the grab. Air dot read up. It was going to be enough. Oh, ha! Huh? He gone. All right, there we go. Up tilt and up. Oh, the, oh my gosh, he almost got that too. I was like seeing that. Okay, wow, Nair, Nair into up smash. Uh, that, that was pretty cool, actually. I like seeing. You that. know, what? I like the mix-ups. So it's, it's really rare that you, I, I haven't. I don't think I've actually seen a conversion like that actually. Okay, clap, grab. He just wants up. that grab release because now look at the position Charlie's in, but he does get the tag. Absolutely. Charlie's been on fire with those techs today. So I think I've only seen this one tonight. Yeah, and that was a great up air. Finally gets the stock. Uh -huh. He's at 93% though, and against Daycom, that's really close to kill percent. Okay, good back air. Charlie's trying to, find, trying to find his way back in right now. Uh, no, grab four throw. He's got him off the stage. See, so I don't think he's, I don't, uh, he's avoiding. That's he's definitely dead. going to do it. Down tilt forward air is enough to do it. Mm -hmm. I still came up. I'm digging all this music, man. Yeah, no, I, I love the land hero music. You know, at first I was like, eh, you know, a lot of people were like, eh, we, it's term and stream. I'm sure, but, nah. I'm sure if those two could actually hear it too, uh, uh, can I be out there doing a little jig? I, I think they can hear it. Nah, I don't know, the last time I was up there, I didn't hear it. That's a good point. I'm not sure. Yeah. But if he was, you know, he, you know he'd already be dancing that. Yeah. Like and shouts to too. Charlie, you know, he's sticking with this Street Fighter vibe. Gonna go to Omega Suzaku Castle on game two. Yo, I love the fact that he's actually pulling out those Street Fighter references. Using those legs like he's Cammy. Nah, he's been like playing, he's Cammy. He's been playing a lot of Street Fighter, actually. Like, he's been messaging um, us and Land here, like, hey, when are we gonna start hosting Street Fighter? I like that. Street Fighter's fun. Do you think he actually plays Cammy actually in Street Fighter? I feel like he does. Probably. Still using his spacey legs amazingly well. Yeah, and that was actually near up smash again from K9. He's been getting that quite a bit. Okay, still he's finding his way back to the stage. I like it. Not letting not letting K9 land easily at least yet. The K9 is still not refu refusing to let, let him have the neutral end completely. But he's already at 105. Another up air would probably kill him next. He's gotta get it first. Really tense with this music. I, I feel like like. Just pressing a shield right now, just waiting for him to drop. Yeah, that was really good patience with K9. He just waited till Charlie decided to do something else, anything else. He tried to get that down air, and Charlie saying, "You know what? Who? You... Ah, dead." I like the mix-up that K9 went for when Charlie was off stage. He tried to get the down air instead. He's like, "You know what? You might be able, you might be Charlie, the king of techs, but you can't tech if I send you straight down." Absolutely, the Shadow Realm awaits. It's still not gonna happen. Charlie really trying to get that up smash. That jab, is, jab, jab up smash though. Definitely gonna be enough. Absolutely. Love seeing that coming out from Charlie actually. It's nice to see jabs like that. Everybody thought it was a nerf at first, but it really was a buff. 
yeah, everyone's like, oh no, I can't infinite people with Fox's jab. It just pops them up too much. And then people are like, wait a second. Pops them up into up smash. <laughs> up smash is a kill move. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good grab by, by, by K9, putting in that back air. Wow, okay, that was a really well stringing and conditioning, it seems like. Oh, I liked that up air from Charlie. He knew that K9 was going to jump out of it, but K9 jumped air dodge, so he was safe. Mm -hmm. I'm just realizing this is actually a little Akuma theme, actually, right now for yeah, the they, Street Fighter. This song is actually great. I love it. It would actually be amazing if we saw like some sort of raging demon combo, just unrelentless. Brutal violence to end their stat man stock. K9 doesn't have a jump right now. He's in a bad position. But Great he makes it back with fair. Yeah, that's, that's a fair way to make it back in neutral. I like that. Um, okay, side the clash of side Bs. Charlie's got to go ahead and make it through. Okay. As we're vir virtually at even percent right now. Uh, Great catch the banana. He's got to find a way, either of these two have to find a way to end each other's stocks. But who's going to go ahead and find that solid hit first? Let's oh. jump back here, no. Wow, he DI'd, he must have DI'd straight down to make sure he didn't get hit by that. Clap, clap. Double down tilt, but doesn't, that was great DI from Charlie. Three claps in a row, I feel like one of those would have would have connected for the kill. Actually, if Charlie didn't land that grab, he was definitely dead. He grabbed K9 out of up tilt. Wow. Dash attack. Uh, K9 has to be very careful with his air dodges. What a get up attack. Uh, it is too tense. They were just overlapping in there and their shield spacing right there. But not, neither of them going to kill each other quite yet. It's too tense. One of them has to. Up smash is going to do it though. Great cut all out on that roll with Charlie. That's it. I don't even need to say nothing. That man was sent straight into hell. Like the skies. Space. Sent by spacey legs. And moon boots. Yeah, and that was great. He recognized that K9 was trying to panic. Going for some. Risky options, some unsafe patterns. Just gonna call out the up smash. Absolutely. The question is right now, where does K9 want to go take Charlie? I'm feeling like it, I, feel, I, feel, I mean, if he goes FD, that's good. It'll be harder for him to get kills, but it also he just wants to run back. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, no, not at all. That game was really down to the wire. If K9 had found one good hit, he would be on the other side of this counter pick. Okay, clap. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, now the match begins. One of them is going to dominate the neutral right about now. K9 uh, is sitting right there in front of him as, Cam as he goes ahead and puts Kami jabs in. Alright, good fair. K9 is walking. He's extremely patient. He's like, okay, I'll wait for you to do a move, and then we'll go ahead and react to it. But oh my gosh, great fair into, into the up tilt right there. Up tilt nail just to get K9 to ledge. Charlie oh, is what commanding. A out. What a commanding ca call out right there. Just take, taking the lead right there. Solid only 54%. All right, but K9 has to go. Is trying to go ahead and find a way to hit this edge guard. Okay, great, great, great throw on the banana. He knew that Charlie was just gonna side B straight through him. Absolutely. I feel. Uh, okay, clap. And a forward smash, that's it, we're at even percents. Back to normal. Yeah, and good stuff to K9, just staying patient. I like I like seeing the reflector out every time every time. It always makes think melee. You don't really you don't really see the reflector too much in Fox gameplay. Oh, oh no, is K9 dead? He is. Breaking barrels. Never trust barrels. Oh my gosh, that mission complete. Uh, two to one right now. Charlie up. Jacket's coming off. Hey, he already knows he's just like, either I'm gonna run this back, or I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna beat this. Like, K9 in full, in full, like. I'm not sure. He's just ready. I don't know what this next match is gonna look like. Either the, either the Rage is gonna just go ahead and and give him the, ri the rise of energy to just go ahead and body. Or he's gonna let it get tilted and he's gonna get by the shoot pick coming out from K9. I still like he's just running it right back to Suzaku Castle. Yeah, honestly, like this stage is pretty sick. Like, especially with this music, Ooh, I'm all about it. I mean, it's Akuma, man. Dude, I saw Akuma come out. I, I want to pick up Street Fire because of it. 
All right. Uh, so far, Charlie's been uh, been keeping the percent right now, but K9 yeah, gonna go ahead and answer right back with a great co with a great setup combo. Like been that. pretty clean tonight. You know that last set we saw against uh, Pitbull, he had some pretty nice conversions. And Charlie did have a really hard time with Void playing him earlier. Yeah, but I mean, Void is a whole other beast. Um, yeah, no, they're two different cheeks. I feel that Void's a lot more patient. He waits. He edge guards really hard. Yeah, but K9. He's absolutely solo anime plot armor and just goes in whenever he can. Yeah, not necessarily whenever. He did show a bit of crush and just forcing people to come to him, but he's definitely really great like at I said, just forcing opportunities, um, catching any little cracks in the armor. Yeah, like whenever he really can. If he can't, he won't do it. Um, okay, down smash at the ledge. He just deleted his stock. He's gone. Alright, so soft jab right there, getting him off the stage. Can he go ahead and, and keep the, him off this with the sledge pressure? I'm actually really surprised that that side B went through the nair. This is absolutely really close. I almost feel like this music, the set, the oh, rivalry that these two so play against each other. Intense. More intense and it almost feels like you don't even have to commentate. This is an anime battle in the making. No one that has D from Dreadly to King. It's not a, oh yeah, no, he could have, if he just put a different angle, the wrong angle. Good tech from, from K9. Uh, okay, I didn't think that. I know the, the, the fair spike is amazing, but I didn't think it was that amazing. Uh, it put a lot further than I expected. All right, great back air. The up tilt's going to send K9 up. Great deal to land with Charlie. All right, forward air into Bouncy Fish. Just gonna go for the photo throw, Bouncy Fish. Out oh. of now this is what K9 has to figure out what he's gonna do. Okay, great nair right there. It's it's down to the wire right now. A nair bouncy hit. fish going to do it. We're gonna have a game five. Absolutely close. There's always amazing matches where you can go and see wait, versus our SoCal Classic. K9 S Bruce versus Charlie the King. Yeah, and it would not be a land here without a game five set between these two. Absolutely. One more game, and we're going to know who is going to challenge CLG Void in Grand Finals. Both jackets off. This is the final this two is where stocks. It gets serious. As we anime get, as it gets. Are we going to see the run back again? Uh, you know they're going to go there back there. Is. They're not going to go anywhere else. Pride won't let them. Yeah, I'm down to keep jamming to this music, though. Wait, is it a different song? No, it's different this time. I don't know the theme of this one. But I'm, I'm down it. with it, though, yeah. Really great resets, right? Uh, resetting of the situation right there from K9. Yeah, that was a really clean lead grab, and now he's just kind of running away with percent. I like the Neo there snuffs out Charlie's approach. For now, I always feel like whenever you play any Sheik whatsoever, it isn't truly zero to zero until Sheik gets you to fifty percent. <laughs> now, I, now, like for me right now, if I'm playing the game, I'm looking at it like it, like Sheik's only got thirty-four percent on me. Uh, okay, maybe we're almost at fifty now, but still, it's still not that bad to me. Uh, right, like right now, uh, like I feel like at any sec any moment right now, Charlie can go ahead and start trying to answer back with up airs. Uh, like you yeah, right now. I mean, honestly, like the kill percent between these two is very different. Like both of these players need about 21 more percent until they start looking for an actual kill. Absolutely, but you know, rage up smash. I like that 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 pivot into, into the forward tilt right there. Actually, it could, you know, could have led into an up smash afterwards. Um, okay, just raw down smash. Yeah, Why now, does that work? That up is not going to do it. K9 had such a lead in the beginning, but now Void is definitely just... Uh, yeah, Charlie's, Charlie's just going for it right now. But I but I feel like, you know, K9's, K9's in a, like, this is not going to happen to me again. I have to destroy him right here. Tries not time to vanish to catch the up e, but not successful. Almost, though. He had to, though. It was close. Okay, breakdancing. And that's gonna kill down smash for down smash. Yeah, and that's something I want to point out. It's like everyone's like, oh, she got these nerfs, you know, she can't kill anymore. They actually did buff her down smash at the same time. I, I know, but it's very hard to go ahead and get that down smash, even if it is a really awesome 90s break dance. It's <laughs> a good point. Good uh, point. He's just narrowing him out right now, putting him in disadvantage state. K9 working his way back into the center of the stage, trying to keep maintain the neutral. Not quite, though. He's only got 28%. He's got to work really hard if K9's going to go ahead and make a comeback. Oh. Oh, and he almost...
Trelly just tried to get that up smash. K9 nearly jumped into it, but the forward air wasn't able to beat it. Absolutely ballsy about it, though. I like it. Showing no fear. K9, even though is on his last stock at kill percent, he's going to go ahead and just keep putting on as much pressure as he can through the last moments. He's going to hit as hard as he can. Yeah, K9 doesn't want to be out yet. He has stage control. Don't let Trelly back to ledge for free and actually gets jabbed through his nail. Right, great nair, fair. Oh, oh fair. great tag. Oh, but oh, K9 gets ledge trump. Okay, great back here right now. Both characters are at what I feel would be a kill percent if he can just get the right position right now. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I almost thought that was it. Dodgy, great stuff from Trailing, not air dodging under pressure. Fourth throw. He waits. He's looking for his opening right now. That's gonna be the hard part right now. K9 needs to find a kill. He's at 140 right now. Oh man, Charlie barely made that back. Great dash attack. K9 still owning the stage. As long as he owns the stage, he owns the game. Exactly. And he's just forcing Charlie. Oh no! He gave up the he gave up the stage. Wait, DBZ, he's that's gone. It. Oh my gosh. That was absolutely down to the wire. I, I I'm almost sad that that's it, but great stuff to Charlie. He came out on top, won the neutral. That was that was it. That was way too close though. Absolutely.